हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ ड्रेनेज द फर्स्ट मेथड इज बाय लॉन्गिट्यूडनल साइड ड्रेन द नेक्स्ट वन इज कैच बेसिन एंड इनलेट इन अर्बन एरिया नेक्स्ट वन इज प्रोवाइडिंग डैम प्रूफ कोर्स अदर वन इज प्रोवाइडिंग प्रॉपर कैम्बर नेक्स्ट वन इज प्रोवाइडिंग सफिशियंट स्लोप टू द साइड एंड द लास्ट वन इज Keeping the level of carriage way at least sixty centimeter above the HFL. Now we will see one by one in detail, starting with the longitudinal side drain. Now here in this diagram, a longitudinal side drain is shown like this. It is necessary to provide side drain on one side or both side when the road is constructed in embankment to drain off the excess water. Side drain should be at least two meter away from the bottom edge of an embankment. Depth of side drain is kept one to one point five meter to prevent the entry of drain water into the embankment. Next one is the side drains for road in cutting. In this, we have to provide the side drain like this to drain off the excess water which will be accumulated over the surface of the pavement. Next one is the catch basins and inlets in urban areas, just like this. catch basin is a structure like chamber constructed on a sewer line water from pavement surface is collected in catch basin and discharged to the sewer line the catch basin is provided with grating to prevent the entry of rubbish into the drainage system it means that with the help of catch basin we are only doing a simple way of disposing the water from the catch basin into the sewer line only and here we are providing a grate so that we does not want to allow the entry of rubbish into the drainage system otherwise it gets choked next one is the inlet in a concrete box with grating either at top or in the inside which is shown here next one is the shoulder drainage for a quick drainage it is necessary to ensure that shoulder surface is properly sloped and free from irregularities and depressions it means that for quick drainage of the water from the road surface we have to provide slope over the shoulder also in impervious type it is practice to extend the sub base course with drainage across the shoulder up to side drain which is shown here alternatively we can provide a layer of 75 to 100 mm thick laid under the shoulder at the bottom layer of sub base about 150 mm thick extended up to edge the paved shoulder should be at least 0.5% steeper than the camber subjected to minimum of 3% it means that always the camber of the shoulder is always 0.5% steeper than the camber of the pavement surface or the top road surface subjected to a minimum of 3% of camber the unpaved shoulder should be further 0.5% steeper along the horizontal curve shoulder or inner side of the curve should have slope steeper than that of pavement on the outer side the shoulder should be made to drain away from the pavement a low rate of super elevation are provided on the other hand where high rate of super elevation the outside shoulder are kept level or rounded it means that we have to provide the slope to the shoulder so as to drain off the excess water from the pavement surface we have to provide at least of 3% slope to the shoulder so as to drain off the water effectively and generally the slope of the shoulder is 0.5% more than the slope of the carriage way subjected to a minimum of 3% next one is the median drainage except for a median less than 5 meter wide it is not desirable to drain the median area towards the pavement surface 1.2 to 1.8 meter wide median provided with curves and always paved 1.8 to 5 meter wide median usually turfed and crowned so that surface water could run towards the pavement maybe with or without curbs median wider than 
फाइव मीटर आर विदाउट एनी कर्व एट एच इफ कैरेज वे स्लोप टूवर्ड दीडियन सेंट्रल ड्रेन मे बी मेड टू कैरी द रन ऑफ एंड स्लोप शुड नॉट बी स्टीपर देन सिक्स रेस टू वन वेन द मीडियन हैज ऑनली अर्दन सरफेस इट शुड नॉट बी क्राउंड बिकॉज it can result in soil particles being carried to the pavement surface making it slippery next is the sub surface drainage removal or diversion of excess soil water from sub grade is termed as sub surface drainage it means that when we remove or diversify the excess water from the sub grade soil it is known as sub surface drainage the change in moisture of sub grade are caused by the following the first one is fluctuation in the ground water table that means lowering or increase in the level of water in the ground water table next one is the seepage flow another one is percolation of rain water that is when rain water moves from the top to the bottom layer of the pavement another one is movement of capillary water in sub surface drainage it is practiced to keep the variation of moisture in sub grade to a minimum that is all about the different methods of drainage thank you very much students